Hi everyone, welcome to my May bullet journal plan with me video. For this month, I decided to go with a Minecraft theme. If you don't know what Minecraft is, it's a game where you can literally do whatever you feel like doing. You can build things, you can kill monsters, you can explore and find treasures, you can tame and farm animals, the list goes on. While you play Animal Crossings, I play Minecraft. I used to think it was really lame, but my brother convinced me to play it once and after that I couldn't stop. It's really fun. For this month's cover page, I decided to draw a Minecraft dog. I used an image I found on Google as my guide. I decided to draw a birchwood tree, a mountain, the sun and the ocean in the background. I used a darker grey pencil to colour in the darker parts of the dog. I didn't press hard on the pencil because I wanted to go over a few parts darker to make him a bit more pixelated. I took a lighter grey pencil and coloured in the rest of the dog. I also went over some spots with the darker grey again. back I made dash like dots to give the impression of leaves and then colored it in. I still wasn't completely happy with the color of the dog, so I kept going over with darker layers. I made dots with three different colors of green for the grass to try and get the Minecraft grass look and then I just colored it in. For the letters of May, I wanted to do Minecraft dirt blocks. I first outlined the letters 
and then added in the details. I wanted the grass a bit darker, so I went over it with another layer of green. For the dirt blocks, I did the same technique as I did for the grass, making dots and then colouring it in. The next spread is my month at a glance. I didn't want to do a big calendar this month, so instead I drew a mini calendar in the top left corner. Underneath the calendar, I made a list with every date where I can write down important events happening in May. I drew a box around the dates to fit with the Minecraft theme. I didn't want to draw ordinary lines from the boxes, so I made dashes. I dedicated the bottom half of the page for my goals and focus of the month. I wanted to draw some tall grass from Minecraft at the bottom of the page. To do this, I first drew a mini grid with pencil so that I can use the little squares as my guide. The first bunch of grass is the most difficult. I worked from a picture I found on Google Images, but once you have the pattern on the first grass, you just copy it. I used a dark green marker, a darker green fine liner, and a green pencil for the grass. drawing these little signs for the headers of my goals and focus section. At the top right corner of the page, I wanted to draw a Minecraft sheep. Again, I used a picture from Google Images as my guide.
if you're wondering why some of my pencils are sharpened on both sides, well, those pencils are from my childhood. I only recently found them and decided to use them again. Little me thought I was very smart by sharpening both sides because if one end gets blunt, I can just switch to the other end. The next spread is my master task list for the month. I searched Google Images for Minecraft Alphabet and I found this cool pixelated alphabet. I outlined the letters with my black fine liner and then filled it in with my brush pen. I decided to draw an enchantment table in the bottom right corner of the page because it has a book on top which I thought suited task list and also it looks very pretty and has a lot of colors. Sorry for all the blurring, my face kept getting in the shot which made the camera go out of focus. I'm still working on camera angles and lighting and stuff. Hopefully in my next journal video you'll be able to see better and it won't blur as much. The next spread I did is my content planner. Since I started a new YouTube and Instagram with JM Things, I needed one place where I could plan what to post and when. I found the lettering for the header on Google Images also by searching Minecraft alphabet. It's originally grey, but I wanted to make it a bit more colourful.
I wanted the header to have a bit more depth, so I added shading as well as some cracks in the letters. I really enjoyed creating my brain dump page for this month. It's inspired by the Enderman in Minecraft. Usually the Enderman in Minecraft is quite a scary character, but he looks so cute and innocent on this spread. I wanted to include a gratitude spread this month to write down something that I'm grateful for every day. I decided to draw a Minecraft bee at the bottom of the page. At the top of the page, I drew a Minecraft lilac flower. I drew a line from each date alternating with different colors every four lines. Finally, my weekly spread. Honestly, this was one of the most time-consuming monthly journals I've ever created. I went into this thinking Minecraft drawings are just blocks, but they actually have so much detail. I just use a small weekly habit tracker. I find it easier to remember to do the habits if they're next to my weekly planner. I also track my water intake every day. For each glass of water I drink, I color in one of the droplets.
that was my month of May plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you're planning on recreating this theme, please tag me when you post it on Instagram. I would love to see it. Also, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. And then I'll see you guys in the next video.